tell me all about your penalty minutes. I know that you were a former pro hockey player. Yeah, I did play minor league hockey, and uh, I basically only accumulated penalty minutes. I wasn't uh, very gifted to score goals, um, but I made a career out of it. And uh, as we had talked about earlier, uh, I was fortunate enough it evolved into a book, which was later turned into a movie, uh, both the book and the movie titled Good Man. I've been a police officer in the town of Hanson for about 20 years now, and that's a great little community down in the South Shore of Boston. You saw the, uh, the players that showed up today from the NHL, and you know, for me to be involved, it's really an honor. And I can see you're a little bit sweaty still. You just got off the ice. Actually, you just stepped out of the shower, I think, right? Right, yeah, it was a tough game. It was a fast-paced game, and for an old guy like me, it was a, it was a workout. How was it trying to keep up with somebody young like Charlie Magan? Yeah, I just watched them go right by me. I didn't even try to keep up. So I lived down in the Plymouth area, which is going, obviously, towards the Cape. Um, but actually, we go to New Hampshire quite a bit. We like the north. We like the rivers and the mountains in that uh, area. I have two little girls, and you know, you're eating, it, you know, friendlies is like a favorite. So they, they, get, they, they just have get it. chicken fingers and ice cream. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love Fire. Can you talk about what it means for you to be giving back to your community in this way? Yeah, I think it's really important to uh, you know having grown up here and seeing how important it is for. Um, you know, us to kind of give back to the community, especially the younger kids who kind of look up to us. Um, a lot of us can remember being in those shoes. So, um, you know, any any time uh, during the summer, especially, um, just to come back and, and see the smile on the, everyone's faces, it kind of gets you excited for next year. And I saw those kids out there banging on the glass. They were so excited <laughs> to see you guys. Do you remember, you know, what it was like for you playing hockey growing up in Charlestown? Where did you play? I grew up, um, I was always around the Charlestown rink with, uh, you know, my friends. We had kind of a small circle. We'd always play hockey together and um, I, I played with the Middlesex Islanders for a while growing up. So I can remember going to games like this, uh, you know, charity games at BU. Um, so now that I, I went to BU locally, obviously, and now playing with the Bruins, it's, it's kind of nice to to kind of give back in that way and, and to be uh, on the other side of it. Now, when you're home and you're in Charlestown and you're looking for that really, really good breakfast, where do you go? Right now, I'd have to say the Monument. Um, it's kind of a new place the last couple of years. That's uh, It's really good Sunday brunch. Sometimes I go there with my, my brother's my father, so I, I would have to go with that. Um, I just got back from Jimmy Fun the other day, um, which is obviously a a great, um, you know, working with the Bruins and the Red Sox over the years, and um, my cousin actually he does a tournament every year in memory of my uncle. His his father passed away, so that's also goes towards the Jimmy Fund as well. So that's kind of something that touches home.